first one is, you know, UCAT was pretty new um, to Australia. Like you, you had set the UMAT um, and you hadn't done that well, but you did much better with the UCAT. Yep. So I guess like given it was so new, it would have been a bit of a confusing process for you. Um, how do you feel like, you know, I guess where, where did you feel like you were at before you joined us? Uh, and how did you feel like your preparation changed through using you know, our, our classes and things like that? Yeah, so, well, before I was kind of um, just a lone wolf in the sense that I did everything on my own. I never really I never really believed in these preparation courses. I thought, well, it's an IQ test and, I, you know, you've got to trust the system. If they say you don't need preparation, then, well, you don't need preparation, right? Yeah. Um, so just based on that, I, I kind of uh, did own personal study for the UMAT and you see where that got me uh, with the 77th percentile doing it the first time, just completely bombed it. And I thought, well, okay, you know, the, the approach that I took, I did study for it, um, but the approach that I took was just absolutely you know, uh, just useless. So joining you guys, um, it just kind of directed me to, to, it kind of directed my practice in such a way that it was, uh, it was more focused now rather than it just being random practice all the time. The, the main thing is that you gave us, you gave me the guidance that I needed to, and, and where to put my focus. Instead of just running in blindly, I was able to identify where my weaknesses were and I was able to improve on them. And I think that's the best thing that, that UCAT Secrets did for me was that I was able to identify my weaknesses through your program. And by identifying my weaknesses, that's the step, that's step one. That's 50% of the hurdle, right? You've, you've just, you've already taken the first step in making yourself better, a better test taker. And that's, that's probably where I think UCAT Secrets helped me the most. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's really good to hear. Um, I guess you were sort of part of the course right from the get go. So, what would you say your favorite parts of the program were? Favorite parts were just those one-on-one -on -one sessions that we had where we, you know, sat down together and we just identified weaknesses. I mean, the theory was all well and good. Um, and of course, theory was absolutely amazing. The way that you structured it, the way that you broke it down to section by section, and then we broke down the, the, every single type of question that comes in the section as well. That, that kind of breakdown was really helpful. But I think the most helpful part was just sitting down and, and identifying my weaknesses by going through, well, if you, you know, for, for example, verbal reasoning, if you're not, if, if you can't read fast, right. And you don't have to read the whole passage, right. You just got to paraphrase. You just got to identify the, the parts that, or the phrases that are important to the question. Right. And that, and that new question specific approach and things like that, those were my weaknesses. I was able to fix them with you get secrets. Cool. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I guess, you know, you, well, I guess, you know, given that you're in, you're sort of deciding how to prepare for the UCAT about a year ago, um, what advice would you give to people who are in your same position now? Um, you know, they're, they're sort of thinking about the UCAT and they're trying to decide what to go with. Um, how would you advise someone to choose what sort of UCAT prep to undertake, having sort of been through the experience and sat the exam yourself now? Yeah. So if you're a complete loss case like I was, um, UCAT secrets is, is the way to go. Um, you want to, if you want a good prep course, it's, you know, you guys just set it up perfectly. The, the, the system that you have is absolutely just phenomenal. Everything works, right? Everything's understandable, comprehensible. Um, but the one piece of advice that I would give is you need to do continual practice every day. You cannot just leave it for the last two weeks, right? I have friends of mine that left it last two weeks and these, these people, mind you, are extremely smart. You look at their ATARs above 99, right? And they're in the same situation as I, as I am because they weren't successful to get in the first time. Um, but they, they, did, they, they thought to themselves, well, well, in the UMAT, I scored 90th percentile. I'll just do the UCAT the same way. And what happened, he ended up scoring in the sem low 70th percentile. Right. So that's just kind of telling you that's two weeks preparation isn't enough. You have to have continual preparation. Even if it's two, three hours a day, you have to do it every single day. You cannot skip a day. It has to be kind of like, take it religiously. You have to take it every day. Right. That's, that's the one advice that I, if I'm going to give will, will, will let you do well. Right. Yeah. I think, you know, that, that's something that it's, it's one thing for me to sort of say it, um, as, as a tutor, but a lot of the time, the reason I sort of do these is like having, hearing it from someone who has sat the exam themselves as a student and then sort of reflected on that and is giving their own advice. I think it really resonates with um, students. So I'm really glad that you said that actually. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess the next thing is, you know, we, we've, we've started sort of taking on students and stuff like that for next year. Uh -huh. um, and, and you've used us, right? So yeah. 
for someone who's sort of going with UCAS Secrets now, how would you advise them to make the most of the course and of the program? Um, so I'm not sure if you still have that um, the UCAS Secrets suit as you did or the yeah. suit that you did last last year. If, if, if you still have that, then th probably the best thing to do would be not only watch the lectures online, ne never miss a lecture, number one, right? Not only watch them, but rewatch them. Okay, especially those those snippet clips that you had that like you know summarize the whole video in like this small amount of time. Rewatch them again and again and again because every single time you watch it, you pick up something new, right? And it's those new things that accumulate towards the end that make a huge difference in your actual performance, right? So for example, I would watch it the first time and maybe the first time I only picked up a couple of techniques, right? The second time I would watch it, I would understand those techniques a little bit better. And then the third time later on, I'd watch it, I'll be like, well, okay, now I have a complete grasp of what I'm required to do and how I can uh, best use whatever I've learned in my exam. So rewatch those lectures, 